Hey everybody, this is Kat. Walk it out 1963. Yes, this is my messy bed. I haven't had a chance to make it, but I want to show you. Um, this is, I think it's cute. This is my kitty cat, Bam Bam. Say hi, Bam Bam. She is my over 25 pound cat. And every time I put my clothes down, this is what happens to them. She lays on them. Okay. But the funny part is, she's my kitty. Say hi. Say hi, baby girl. Yeah. But she's my baby girl. And she's laying on my hello. Okay, you got to move. She's laying on my hello kitty clothes. I think that's funny. I'm sorry. I know. Ooh, look. Shiny objects. My husband says that he will not be seen out in public with me. Wearing my Hello Kitty um, pants that he had bought me. He says that he glad, he's glad they're just a little bit too tight because I won't be out in public in them. But he does not know that this is incentive to lose 20 to 15 to 20 pounds. Yeah. I got to go back on my diet. So I need your help. Start rooting for me. Tell me to leave the damn Oreos alone and all the high chews and all the candies. But anyway, I just thought that I would share this. It's kind of funny that my kitty is laying on my Hello Kitty clothes. <laughs> and look, I love the rabbits. It wasn't me. Walmart, $5 for, $5 for this. And five dollars for the Hello Kitty, and six dollars, no, seven ninety-five or ninety-nine for the pajamas. And I got the shirt on. You don't want to see the shirt, but yep. I just thought I'd share this cute little thing because I usually do all kinds of weird things. And she, Mama's girl, she is a rescue, by the way. When she was just a couple of weeks old. I think she was like four weeks old. Somebody took her in front of my house. It was storming and raining. And they threw out a whole bunch of kittens in front of my house. And some of them fell down the drain. And we couldn't get to them. But, oh, look at that shedding fur. Ah, damn it. All over my bed. Excuse me, little kids. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that, children. I'm sorry. But they threw her out of a car that was speeding up a hill into a drainage ditch that was really over flooding. And some of her brothers and sisters fell down into the drain. And she got swept down a little bit farther away from the drain. And she hit really, really hard. And so, I picked her up, and ever since then, she's been my baby girl. She's my baby. Yes, she is. Oh, that makes me cry to think people could be such jerks. All my animals have such a horrible, horrible life. And starting off. One Chihuahua came from a um, breeder who over who was overbreeding him, and bred him and bred him and bred him and bred him until he couldn't hardly do anything anymore. And he would, when we got him, he wasn't feeling good. He wasn't doing too good. The black and white Chihuahua, she was passed around to family to family to family to family because she's really a She's a typical Chihuahua. She's a, she's not a yipper. She's a um, jumper and a lover. She wants to sit up in your lap and love on you. But she's calmed down and everything. And we all know about the Dalmatian being beat to death. And if I was to tell you about Ganja, my 25-year-old cat, you'll be totally shocked. Well, <clears throat> see, the story talking about her got me all upset. It made me up, made me upset to think people could be like that. But Ganja, yes, that is his name, and yes, I do know what it stands for, people. He was named that name because his previous owner was an addict, 
and ever since he was a kitten, what they did to him is they would take him and put him in a Rubbermaid box with a hole in it and duct tape him into this box. And they would smoke um, marijuana and they would put blow the marijuana in the um, box that they had duct taped him in. And they would get him stoned on drugs. So besides that, they forced alcohol downing, they forced pills, and the only reason how come I ended up with him is because they were going to um, take him and use him as a target practice to go hunting. So, yeah, so I um, took him, and we took him in, and... He's been with us ever since, and he's he was so fat at one time that we literally had to put him on a diet. He weighed close to 45 pounds. At, he had gained that much weight with us because they really didn't feed him a lot. And he had to go through detox, a lot of vet visits. and But now he's over 25 years, he's 25 years old, and he's fat and sassy and he's living the life of of a king and he deserves it after all the abuse he's been been through but like i said i love my animals and i love animals the the ones that nobody the silent i always call them the silent cries because you can't hear them tell you leave me alone i'm in pain or i don't like look at those eyes how could anyone hate that but she's also my stalker she stalks me everywhere i go if she cannot be with me she is on something i own my desk my computer she sits on anything and everything that belongs to me and at night time when i sleep she sleeps on my chest are on my head half the time or on my feet so I don't have much room to sleep <laughs> because of her but well I'm sorry this isn't a craft video but I just wanted to show you how funny I thought that was that my kitty was sleeping on hello kitty <laughs> so please like comment and subscribe bye everybody have a wonderful day you can't see me waving I wave down here so she can go, what are you doing, Mama? What you doing, Mama? What you doing, Mama? Come on, let's show everybody how fat you are. Show how everybody how fat. I'll go on a diet if you go on a diet, okay? You want to go on a diet with me? I don't think that'll last. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, I'm saying bye now for real.